Welcome back to Virginia this morning live on CBS 6. Our friends at Sylvan Heights Bird Park invite you to plan a field trip and observe the largest collections of waterfowl, including rare and endangered species from all around the world. In this segment, we learn about the black vulture. Take a look. Hi everyone, my name is Kat. I am uh, one of the aviculturists here at Sylvan Heights Bird Park. And I have a very special friend today. Uh, this is Rody. He is a black vulture. They're native to North Carolina, very common. Um, they're also uh, seen alongside turkey vultures, another North Carolina native vulture that we have here, also very common around the United States. Now, both types of vultures are part of the vulture family, of course, and what that means is that they're scavengers. Now, they do eat meat like other carnivore animals. However, the main difference is uh, that unlike predators, uh, scavengers only go after uh, food that has already died. So that's why we often see them on the sides of road eating things like roadkill. Vultures have a very unfortunate reputation for being gross and disgusting because of that imagery of seeing them on the sides of the road eating uh, like a dead deer or something like that. Um, however, if we didn't have vultures like roadie around, the, uh, around here and around the world, um, our planet would actually be very, very gross. So because uh, they uh, eat things that have already died, they are in fact for us taking out diseases um, that could um, harm us even as humans. Uh, just to name a couple diseases that they help eliminate for us. Uh, we got anthrax, botulism, and even rabies. Their guts and immune system are so powerful that they eliminate it. It literally dissolves into their gut, so it does not pass through their systems back into the environment. Black vulture and turkey vulture are not the only vultures around the world. There are many types of vultures throughout the planet. Um, they're divided into two main categories. Uh, the New World Vultures and the Old World Vultures. Now the New World Vultures are ones that are found here in North America and South America. So another North American Vulture is the California Condor. Uh, so that one is an endangered species. And then there's many others in South America such as the Andean Condor and the King Vulture. Uh, old World Vultures are ones that are found in Europe, Asia, and Africa. Um, and so the, many of those species, they're much larger than Rody. Rody is among the smaller vultures. The old world vultures are uh, much larger overall, but just like the black vulture, they're scavengers and they eat dead animals that they find along the way in the wild. And uh, many of those species, unfortunately, are on the endangered species list. Um, as an example of this, in India alone, vulture populations have declined as much as 90%. And uh, one of the main reasons for that, unfortunately, is poison. Now, it's not that the people there are intentionally poisoning vultures. That's not what's happening. They have found that many of the antibiotics and other medications that uh, farmers use for their livestock is poisonous to vultures. And so there's a lot of conservation efforts going on over there to help protect the vultures and try to get the numbers back up. And uh, they have found the uh, effect of having very few vultures over there. It goes back to what I was saying about if we didn't have vultures around, diseases would be running rampant. And because uh, the vultures are not consuming these potentially diseased carcasses, uh, many of these diseases are flourishing, unfortunately, and even more so, rabid dogs are taking the place of these vultures. And of course, we don't want rabid dogs anywhere. <laughs> So that is why we need to protect our vultures around the world, even the common ones like Rody here. Uh, so uh, next time you see a vulture, just you know, think of for you know being nature's trash man, but in a good way. We need vultures around. They are not scary animals. Uh, they are not predators. Like I said, they don't hunt anything alive. And despite the reputation that people give them about being dirty and gross, they're actually very clean animals. In fact, their main job in life is to keep the planet clean for us. So they need to be clean. And that's why they have bald heads. So he's got this nice bald head here. And uh, it's a lot easier to clean a bald head than it is to clean feathers. So you can imagine a vulture like Rody loving to go inside, inside his nice meal and food, and uh, really go for the real meaty bits. And so it can get a little messy when he's eating that. And so that's why all vultures around the world have that iconic bald head. I hope you guys had fun learning about vultures and meeting Rody here. I know he's had a lot of fun. Uh, maybe you'll even see us if you ever come to the bird park sometimes. Sometimes he likes to walk around and talk to people about the importance of vultures. We hope to see you next time at Sylvan Heights. <laughs>
You can plan your visit to Sylvan Heights Bird Park located at 500 Sylvan Heights Way, Sylvan Heights Parkway in Scotland Neck, North Carolina. They're open Tuesday through Sunday, 9 a.m. until 5 p.m. For all the information, we'll have a link on our website, wtvr.com slash VTM by early this afternoon.